Some time ago, I had a relative that was very sick. Prayed for him, spoke with the daughter, but I was reluctant to call him. You know why? This uncle of mine can casually insult him. Let me use it. Let me put it that way. Each time you visit him, he's always using abusive words. He's always accusing everyone that your father did this, your mother did this, this person did this. And so because of that, even though people want to go help him when he was sick, many people were reluctant. Now, in his mind, he will believe that his people doesn't care. But the challenge is that he doesn't even know that every man and woman desire to be respected, irrespective of their age, social status, or color. Even once I called him, he lamented, he accused me, he blamed me, and all that. So there was another time he was lodged to hospital. My mother called and said, please, I should start interceding for him. I should even call him on phone. I interceded for him. I told God he's not going to die, and yes, he didn't die. But guess what? I couldn't call him again. This is where so many parents are missing it. When you are raising your children, you use abusive words on them. You don't even encourage them. Yes, I know they failed exam, but the best way to raise a child is not even through the road. It is through words of encouragement. The more you abuse them, the more they are detaching from you emotionally, but you wouldn't know it. And you see, life is in circle. As they grow, they will continually detach from you. One day they will come of age. The male children will go to take a wife and they will leave home. Your daughters will leave home to go to their husband's house. You will be left alone. Now, how you raise them, if you raise them in love, if you created that family bond with them when you were raising them, even though they had gone their separate ways to build their own family, they will still keep in touch with you. They will still care for you. Many children, what they are doing with their parents is to, is to just send money. Tell me, mommy, money. Take money. Ah, mommy, how are you? Just take money. But at that point of your life, especially when you are getting old, money is not your problem. What you need is love. What you need is people. But the challenge is that we fail to recognize that everyone deserves to be respected. So if you're a mother, if you're a father hearing me, be careful how you speak to your children now. Because a time will come, you will look for them and you won't find them. And you will think that they are insensitive. That they should know that that you care for you. No, they are aware. But because each time they come around you, you are always using abusive words. You must know that everyone deserves to be respected. The Lord presses seriously in my heart to speak to parents. And for some of us that will soon become one, how you treat people today is very, very important. I know some one or two persons that when you ask them about their parents, they say they are fine. From their tune, you will know that something is wrong. They are not emotionally connected to them. They can send them money. They can call them once in a while. But that that family bond, that love, that is that friendship that a mother or a father is supposed to have with a child is not there. Why? When you were raising them, you were, the way you were speaking to them, they might not be able to respond. They might not be able to defend themselves. But the time will come when they are come of age, when they, can, when they will begin to seek for their own interest. They can come around you and just spend 10 minutes with you, they are off. You know why? And you are wondering, you want to gist with them. You just want to talk with your children. You just want to play with them. But you lost that several years ago. Remember, I used my uncle as a case study here. I believe at this stage of his life, he wants friendship, but it is too late to create. Because while we are growing up, we knew him as an uncle that is abusive. Maybe he doesn't even know. But learn from any, someone's mistake so that you don't repeat it. In case you have children right now, start speaking to them with respect. If you want to collect them, the Bible says we should collect one another in love. There's a way you can correct people without making them feel like they don't amount to anything. There's a way you can correct people without talking down on their self-esteem. Encourage them. Appreciate their little effort. Yes, I know they are not meeting up to your expectation, but first of all, appreciate it. Encouragement has been proven to be a better tool to raise a child than abusive words. Let me say that again because I did a study on this. Words of encouragement have been proven to have more effect on any child than scolding than beating, than abusive words. Many parents believe that by abusing, abusing them, you will push them to work hard. But what you don't know is that you are killing them emotionally with words. Words are like dagger in people's heart. So self-esteem is one of the basic needs of every man. Proverbs 11, 29. It says, He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind. This is applicable to us leaders, including pastors. How do you talk to your workers? Maybe I should read that again. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit wind. He that troubleth his own house. How do you trouble them? How you speak to them? Pastor, how do you talk to your workers? Employee, how do you talk to your employer? There is a better way we can talk to people. That great man deserves respect. 
your driver deserves respect. Your children deserves respect. Like I was earlier speaking to parents. This scripture is really talking to them. When you keep troubling your own house, you will inherit nothing. In the days that you will need men, no one will stand behind you. Because self-esteem, need, is one of the basic needs of a man.